Okay, here we are for a short one. Ever tried to make eyes for your cake in different sizes? There's a couple of easy ways that you can do that with Flexi products. So let me show you a couple of them. Okay, so the first way to do it is use a any kind of a mat with a, with a, any kind of dip designs. This is a sequins mat, and. I'm going to use a, a, a piping bag. I warmed up some Flexi, put it into the piping bag, and then cut off the end of it, okay? I warmed it up now so it's liquid, and I'm just going to pipe right into a void. You can make it as high or as low as you want, to create the particular desired effect. Piping bag helps you stay within the lines a little bit better. So I did that a little bit earlier and you can see that once it dries, you've got a, a lens that you can use that's clear to put on to any kind of a background. That's the first way. The second option would be to use a mat with bigger half spheres like this one that we got from Chicago uh, mold making. Then you can use either clear product like we did previously or color the Flexeek for a colored effect. So I'm going to do the colored effect first. I'll do it along this edge because I've got some examples for you already done. And you simply fill the void Let it sit in there for a little bit. And then dump it out. The longer you keep it in there, the thicker the lens will be. And there it is. So if you let it dry, I've got some here that I've done just a little while ago. Pop it out. And now you've got yourself a really neat lens that you can use for an eyeball. You can paint it with flex, colored Flexi to make your colors. And you can create several of them so that you can uh, experiment with colorations on the lenses. For instance, if you had a ball of um, chocolate or, or gum paste, you can then take the lens that you've created and just apply it right onto your ball of chocolate or gum paste. Make it a little bit smaller and then paint it some more. Kind of a neat, neat, different way of creating eyes. Now, if you use clear, you could then pop out your lens and you have a clear representation that you can then put onto your um, eyeball and color it. Now, if you wanted a full half sphere, you could do the same thing by filling the whole thing and letting it set and then you've got a a thicker um, eyeball half eyeball and then you can put your lens right on top of that um, to create your eye all right all right so that's the second way okay so the third way would be to use a ping pong ball to create your lens. I warmed up some Flexi, actually Flexi glue works best in this case. I warmed up some Flexi glue in a small pinch bowl and now I'm just going to rotate one half of that ball into the glue so that it's coated that part of it. And then since I drink, I have jiggers, I'm going to just put that right onto uh, my jigger 
and then let it dry for a few minutes. And after it dries, um, a lot of it will come rolling down off the side of the ping pong ball. You can then just slice it evenly all the way around. And then when it, after it dries, you can lift it right off. I've got one that I did earlier just to show you what it looks like. You lift it along the edges so that it loosens the grip on the ping pong ball. Put it upside down so that you don't have any problem with it folding over on itself. And there you have it. There's a big lens for, for an eyeball. So you can then apply it onto your ball of chocolate or gum paste or fondant and color it so that it reflects the, um, the design that you're looking for. So there it is, three pretty easy ways of creating eyes for your cakes using Flexseek products. Check out the other tutorials that give you different things that you can do with Flexseek on Flexseek YouTube. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our Flexseek YouTube channel and let people know that this information's out there. We'll keep bringing you information as we develop it, so keep staying tuned in and we'll see you next time.